On my cruise to Asia last year on Royal Caribbean Spectrum of the Seas, I was a part of a little incident. Uh, something happened to me that seemed pretty innocuous at the time, something I didn't really, uh, I wasn't too concerned about, but I read some new information today about norovirus, about sickness, and uh, man, that situation that I was in, uh, it's, it's a situation I should have ran from. Uh, new information to me, at least, on the norovirus, we're going to talk about it today, how to avoid it on the cruise ship, and one situation that if you find yourself in, you got to get out of there. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Tony with La Lita Loco. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Let me be your guide today into that cruise life. If you are here, if you enjoy cruising content, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of our uploads. Well, Look, getting sick on a cruise ship, it's a common phobia, it's a common fear, and it's not unwarranted. While the cases of norovirus happening at sea is lower than norovirus happening on land, uh, when it does happen on a cruise ship, it is notable because you got all those people in such an enclosed space and the spread of norovirus, the spread of gastrointestinal illness it can happen quickly on a cruise ship. Part of my normal deal every day is to get up to look at the cruise news. And I came across this Australian blog called Honey Travel. And they put together a really nice list of ways to avoid norovirus. And these are things that I've seen before. I think they're worth mentioning again. But the last one on the list really gave me pause. It, it took me right back to my cruise on the spectrum of the seas. And again, a really weird event. So let me go through the... And let me go through the list that they present on this Honey Travel blog site. I'm going to leave a link to that article below in the description if you want to read the full article. A couple things to note, though. I like this idea. They talk about a best practice on the cruise ship is not to shake hands. Now, I, I hadn't really thought about that. We meet a lot of people, and uh, I'm always there to offer my hand. I don't know that I'm going to change that practice, but they recommend the fist bump. Uh, and they, they, they've got this thing they even call the cruise bump where you only touch two knuckles. So uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a hugger, a handshaker. And um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think this article is scaring me. I'll still offer my hand. But that's an interesting first point to think about when you meet somebody in public these days. Are you a handshaker? Are you a fist bumper? <laughs> that's, let's start the conversation off with that. OK, so. Beyond that, here is some simple ways to prevent getting norovirus on the cruise ship. First and foremost, we've talked about it before, you want to make sure you wash your hands with warm soapy water as frequently as possible. This is the number one way to at least reduce your part in spreading any kind of virus is to keep your hands clean and to try to keep your hands out of your eyes and out of your mouth. Now, number two on the list from the Honey Travel Vlog, they just point out very simply that hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer on the cruise ship, not necessarily rated for norovirus. And so while it's a good idea to keep your hands sanitized, it's not as good as washing your hands. So don't be lulled into a false sense of security that you are sanitizing often. You got to wash those hands. Number three, don't share your food, your drink, or your utensils with anybody or I guess don't use somebody else's utensils, don't eat off of somebody else's food, and don't drink from somebody else's drink. It's one of those situations where you don't know what the person that you're dealing with, whether they've been exposed to any kind of virus, any kind of gastrointestinal illness, and uh, you are going to increase your chance of getting it if you, uh, if you nibble off their food, if you drink off their drink, and if you share the same utensils. And number four on the list, and this one is close to my heart. It's close to my friend Don Terrace, fellow YouTuber, um, prolific cruiser. Uh, you probably know what it is. Don's Family Vacation, lots of cool videos over there. And some of my favorite are the ones where he's begging the people not to touch the food. Yes, it's even on the list here on the Honey Travel blog. Do not touch the food with your bare hands. Let me say it again. Do not touch the food with your bare hands. A third time, just for emphasis, do not touch the food with your bare hands. Especially at the buffet. Look, I've infamously now at this point talked about a pair of ladies who handled some cream puffs at the buffet on one of my cruises. They went in with their hands. I don't know if they were clean. I don't know if they were dirty. But they put their hands into a pile of cream puffs 
big old cream puffs that I'm assuming they touched other cream puffs to get these cream puffs. They put their hands on them. They stood over the buffet and they ate them. Crumbs flying everywhere. There's so many things going on there that's freaky from a germ perspective. Hands in the food, crumbs flying out of mouths. It's just bad form, regardless of what you think. I've heard people defend these ladies, and I respect your opinion, but think about it, man. Look, even these fine folks in Australia at the Honey Travel blog are saying, don't touch the food. If I'm saying it, if Don's saying it, if these people are saying it, and thousands of people around the world are saying it, don't do it. Don't touch the food. Use the now. I'm a little freaked out now because of that conversation about the utensils at the buffet. Just previously on this list on the Honey site, they're saying, "Look, uh, don't touch any utensils." That's got to go for tongs too. I, I'm getting a little more buffet wary as we go along in this conversation. I might have to take gloves just to touch the buffet utensils. What are your thoughts on buffet utensils? This next one's important and it's a tough one. Reduce contact with communal surfaces. Communal surfaces like handrails, which if you're one of those people that are doing your best to avoid the elevators and climbing the stairs, you either got to free climb it like you're some adventurous young man in Yellowstone Park climbing without a rope. That may be a little extreme, but that's what comes to mind as somebody who loses their balance easy. I need a handrail to hold on to, but now I'm risking maybe getting some sort of virus by touching the handrail you got to keep that in mind definitely don't touch the doors of the public bathrooms many cruise lines now have a button where you can push and the door will swing open or they're providing uh, tissues anything to grab the handle except with your bare hands to reduce the overall spread of virus Uh, any kind of community i don't know how far this extends right you got to use some sort of common sense You're obviously going to touch furniture and you're going to touch tables that other people have touched. But the big ones, of course, are the handrails and the public bathrooms and the utensils at the buffet. So uh, do your best not to touch communal surfaces. And now let's get to the story time. This one's, uh, again, you're going to hear the story and think it's way too simple. One day I wanted to make sure that I tried out the MDR on the Spectrum of the Seas. And so I went there for lunch and I was taken to a seat toward the back of the dining room. I was set there and I was set in between a couple families. There was a, a family sitting on both sides of a table and then there was a family on the other side of me and I was set at a little two top and these families were on both sides. So I was given the menu. I was doing a little bit of filming trying to make sure that I captured what was on the menu. And then all of a sudden a ship's officer ran up to me and said, you have to get up right now and go to another table. And I was confused. I was like, well, what? What? Like, I just got seated here. And there was like a sense of urgency. I couldn't understand it. It wasn't like a waiter. It wasn't the maitre d'. It was like a dude. It was a it was a uniformed officer. And of course, I complied. I jumped right up and I went over and I sat at a, another table that they put me at. And then I looked over to where I was sitting and there was an officer removing somebody who had thrown up. Now, uh, we were on the spectrum of the seas during a uh, typhoon. There were a lot of people that were seasick. This was just a day after the rocking had stopped. And I'd assume that a lot of people were still getting sick. And sure enough, this guy had thrown up right there at the table. They were trying to move him away from it, but they quickly moved everybody else away. And what I didn't realize until I got deep into this honey article today is that one of the ways that these gastrointestinal things spread, one of these ways that norovirus spreads is from particles in fecal matter and in vomit. I know it sounds super gross, but it it is part of the reality. I did not know how super susceptible you are to getting some sort of norovirus because of the particles that come out of vomit. I'm going to quit saying vomit at this point. Let's just say we know what we're talking about. And so I know that people get sick. I'm not too worried about it. I'm I'm not going to spend my time, you know, kind of frolicking in it or anything like that. But I've never been that afraid of it. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Well, now this apparently is one of those things you should run from. If you see somebody openly get sick on a cruise ship, move away quickly. This is one of those times where until the disinfectant team comes in and gets all that stuff cleaned up, you could be really susceptible to getting sick. Now, I used to think maybe you get sick because of uh, sympathy, those kind of things. But there's actually a real deal with the spread of the norovirus that comes 
from this type of activity. So uh, if you see this on a cruise ship, if you see somebody get sick, move away quickly. That's the big, the big warning. And you know, like, I don't know everything about everything. I was super shocked to read this again. I just thought it was one of those deals where you don't want to be around people that were sick, but there's actually, uh, actually a good reason not to be around people that were sick. So just a reminder what to do on a cruise ship to minimize your risk for getting sick. If you haven't seen the cream puff story, here's the video. Go check that out. It's a good time. Controversial. Some people like it. Some people don't like it. So watch. You're, you're forewarned. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is Tony with La Lida Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. <laughs> Bye.